Ah. <clears throat> okay. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm gonna take a little, oh, this is always hard to get out of here in the house. Uh -huh. oh, look at my hair today. I have these incredible glasses on my face because, so I can see actually. Today I'm going to share with you, um, oh my gosh, <laughs> look at my crotch. <laughs> I'm going to share with you today um, a reading or a quote or something um, by this book, um, in this book uh, called Killosophy by Chris Jami. Check this book out, I really, really love it because he's a, he's a great thinker and, um, and I really like what he has to say. Um, let me see, what was he? Oh yeah, the crazy creatives are the creatives who never go completely mad. They are, aren't so easily disheartened by the seemingly endless amounts of scrutiny that creative individuals tend to receive because they, like insanity, are the ones who feed off of opposition and negative feedback and manage to continue along with a healthy ambition. It is the crazy that teaches us to use our gifts wisely and own all the attackers. <laughs> How appropriate is that at the moment? Um, <clears throat> Anyway, um, I made a post yesterday about being a little defensive and that is just so, it's so impermanent. It just passes and passes. I am here to celebrate my craziness and um, by the way, also I'm on my YouTube channel, I just uploaded um, a very crazy um, alter ego of mine called Messy Mary. And Messy Mary is like, I don't know, a drag queen being born maybe, perhaps, I don't know. But I have no makeup on, I have no wig, I'm completely in my underwear, like a, a, the brand Nasty Peak underwear. And, um, and I'm doing the most outrageous, craziest thing. It's probably the craziest thing I've done since I've started my channel. Anyway, um, and it so, feels, it feels so good and it's absolutely nuts and um, fucking nuts, basically. So it's really super crazy. <clears throat> I'm really, really into, um, you know, like letting my freak flag fly and just letting myself go and being free and owning all of that. And it's just really a really great thing. And, um, and you know, the, the things, like what he says, my creative, um, my works, my creativity, my works, all of my, my pieces lately have been just so blossoming. And I don't really really take credit for that because intuitively, if you don't know me, um, I create my works, I, um, I create them from an intuition. Like intuitively, I respond to, um, I don't know, the, the a channel from the universe is dropping into my mind and I'm just basically doing it and creating from, from that point of view. So it's like almost I'm not even creating my own works are kind of being channeled and, um, and I make decisions on the fly like that and I just go with the flow and I really trust the universe and and um and so the response of that has been for me has been um such wonderful works that I've created and I'm so grateful to be able to just share that here with you and share the and share the the feeling of um gratitude that I have for um recognizing that and actually being honest last night I um had my premiere here of a new piece of mine called Hope Passion and it's um it's a uh, it's um it's with all women um, and it has it, it was very well received and I was so proud of the dancers but I say that um, because um, I made this piece in three days and I really channeled that that work and that information and I just let it come off off my head and um, and just made decisions and I created it um, just like that and I'm open and honest about that um, more so today than I've ever ever been because I used to be kind of ashamed that I didn't have some kind of theory or I didn't come up with some kind of um, <clears throat> I don't know like something that I researched and I worked on and everything and I'm not dissing anybody who does that because some great works and art has been created this way but I really really know that my full potential in my channeling you know like channeling people channel books people channel channel works um and uh and that's what i'm doing i tap into that source and the creativity just flows through me and um and and me being being so um also crazy and trusting that um that part of me that that um excited um um out of the ordinary kind of uh, choices that I make from 
what may seemingly be crazy um, and also a crazy way to approach work you know I used to be like I just said like ashamed of that maybe perhaps and um, I'm not I'm not ashamed of that anymore and um, I also teach my workshops and I'm not prepared so um, I am like this this um, one of my greatest heroes right now my mo modern greatest heroes is Kyle Cease and he is he wrote a book that I hope I screw this up because that's how I feel at the moment. I feel like within my within my work, I hope I screw everything up. Like I really can feel that because, um, and I'm taking the responsibility of that and knowing what I can learn from it and realizing that um, it is such a beautiful a beautiful thing to to um, to to know and to to work like that and and um and you know when people write books like this guy, I hope I screw this up. I would advise you to read it. Um, and if at EOL, I will share this video also too on EOL, which is the Evolving Out Loud community on Facebook, and I'm so grateful to be part of that. Is that um, and I, I work like this, and I teach workshops, dance workshops. Um, I'm a choreographer, I'm a dancer, and um, and I create and I uh, do these workshops, and I go in and I channel information, and I, you know, I have some skills, and I use those skills, and I don't know, and then sometimes I just get an idea, and I just I just respond to the idea just like I'm creating my works and so my workshops are really exciting and very um, lighthearted in a way and sometimes we can get really really deep also to in touch touch upon this certain emotions like all range of emotions which is behind my my work and my art and my craft and all the creativity so um, yeah I'm just really super excited today I haven't slept very long because my jet lag is still like um, I don't know fully fully present I woke up this morning at like 5 o'clock and I just got up and I've been up ever since and now I'm going to spend some time with my boyfriend in the mountains and at a temple here in Wollongong, Australia. And um, and that's also interesting and wonderful too is that like I'm here and I'm working and I'm getting ready to go to, on holiday to Melbourne and to Sydney and spend some time with my partner and my beautiful man. And, um, and yeah, so, you know, you know there's... <laughs> life is so beautiful life is so beautiful I would say all the time when you are just so free and liberated and and um yeah I'm in love with that I'm in love with that I'm in love with that I'm in just in love with that and so um I want to share that with you today and I hope you have a beautiful beautiful day and um I wish you all the best and liberation and all the freedom in your life and just keep spreading the love and sharing and um and give hugs out today and because you know it's like when you whatever you give you receive you receive it's you receive we're mirrors of all that so um you give out full freedom of creativity and you receive that receive that back in all forms and everything and that's one of the most beautiful precious joyful things in life I ask myself did you bring joy first of all when I first wake up in the morning so I, I that's always my intention I love you so much have a joyful day and I'll see you tomorrow thank you bye bye Mwah. ciao